Hello, I'm Jae Sang Ko, manager of Dusan Robotics in charge of industrial communication education. This training was designed to convey how to use the industrial communication provided by Dusan Collaborate Robot. I do not cover detailed specification for each communication, so please refer to it. If you have any question, please comment in chat window. I will do my best to deliver the answer. Yeah. Today lecture content is this. First, I want to explain about overview of industrial communication. The representative physical layer of industrial communication are serial and Ethernet communication. Based on this, various companies have, have created and distributed standardized industrial protocol, which is called Fieldbus and Industry Ethernet. Fieldbus is made based on serial and industrial Ethernet is made based on Ethernet. Many industrial Ethernet were created by changing the physical layer based on field bus. Examples of communication are as follows, Modbus RT2, Modbus TCP, um, and Profibus to Profinet. Next is serial communication. Serial communication has the characteristic of transmit by one bit. Yeah. Parallel communication is the opposite communication, which has the characteristic of sending multiple bits of data at once. Those who had used an old printer, LPT, as an example of each communication, will be able to understand it easily. Serial, serial communication uses few lines, so the cost is low. In addition, the asynchronous method can be used, so it is easy to implement. Type of serial communication, RS-232, RS-422, RS-485, basically talk about three things. It has different characteristics, so when using this communication right away, you need to understand its characteristic well. When you use M series or H series, that time we provide this support for RS232. However, please note that signals for flow control are not supported physically and or support uh, software. In in addition, all series have USB port. So if you use USB to serial converter, you can also use RS-422 or RS-485. Yeah. In A series, uh, A series provide RS-485 communication to the print. However, it's not made based on the physical line directly connect to the internal control system, but it co implements through the conversion uh, between communication. There may be difference between general serial and operation characteristics. Note that it is not suitable for use in sensor with high scan rate. It is suitable for using when sending and receiving signal through event method such as gripper. Also, please note that plenty serial communication will be applied through design changing to M and H series at the end of this year. Next, next is basic parameter for serial communication. Yeah. Port. This is the information of the physical port for serial communication. In window, the terms COM1 and COM2 are used a lot. But Dusan Robot Control is based on Linux OS, so use terms such as DEVTTY S0 and DEVTTY USB0. Mm. Our DRL provides such complex port information by converting it to window based COM for convenience. Please refer to the programming manual for detailed information. Also, since print serial does not provide a physical port, there is no need for such information. Yeah, next, bow rate. 
bow rate means the number of bytes that can be transmitted per second. Yeah. And data bit, data bit and byte bit is same. Yeah. It means the bit size of data to be sent at once. Yeah. Sub bit. Sub bit uh, set the bit size to indicate the end of data as a characteristic of asynchronous communication. However, there are many be uh, there may be limitation in detecting various cases of error with only the parity bit. So for the above information, communication does not work normally if the computer information between the device is not correct. Yeah. In this page. Okay, next. Uh, we following GRL provide. Yeah. I will introduce how to use it through an example. You can know the number of connect device in advance by using serial get count. Yeah, you can connect to the device by checking the port information using serial get info. Yeah. And it is possible to check whether the current serial handler is connecting by using serial state. Yeah. Now, I want to introduce uh, my example code. Yeah. Uh, in this case, I want to use the uh, dot studio for our DRL. Yeah. Okay. I want to pray this DRL. Yeah, in this case, uh, I already talked about the serial get count. Yeah, so I want to get some information like this. Yeah. In this case, I want to reuse this DVTTY US zero information. So, uh, like this, first parameter, return variable, and uh, write some message like this. And now we wait some uh, read data, but in this case, I do not connect to any device, so uh, uh, we our system is the stop in this line. And uh, next example, I want to using some gripper. That time you can see the some read and write data. Yeah. This example, yeah, and okay. Go to the slide. Yeah. Next, I want to introduce frenzy serial communication. Uh, we uh, provided like this four uh, serial communication DRL, friendly serial communication DRL. Uh, yeah, I will introduce how to use it uh, through an example. The following example is the DRL code to control the robotic two finger gripper. Yeah, information on the data use can be found in the robotic two finger manual. Yeah, now I also use the dot studio. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And you can see it like this. In this case. I want to open the serial port like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have uh, some problem because uh, maybe some uh, I, I do not handle some wait time in 
this case. So now I want to write some wait comment like this and play. Yeah. The time I want to uh, first comment, I, I want to send the first comment, uh, activation comment. So the time. Yeah, like this. And uh, second command uh, uh, is the this. Yeah, close the gripper at full speed and full pause. So oh. that time you can see the like this. And next command, I want to open the gripper at full speed and full pause. Right there. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and next next chapter, uh, I want to introduce TCP IP server and client function. Uh, connect the external device to the RAM port of the router of the robot controller when connecting the one port communication may not work normally. Yeah, like this. Uh, setting in the setting page, you can check and modify the IP address information of the robot controller in network. In general, IP address should be operated in the same network area between the device to be connected. Detailed IP address allocation information need to be confirmed with the person in charge of the network at the press to be built. Yeah. And now I want to introduce DRL for TCP IP, communi TCP IP communication. Command for use as a server and command for use as a client are provided. Server means a subject that has information. Therefore, after the server is started, client connect to the server IP address to exchanging data. Yeah. Introducing the DRL function using in example yeah, while communication with TCP IP. Yeah. This is server example. Yeah. Now I also using use the dot studio and yeah, set the yeah, server example and I also want to use some program for socket test yeah like this uh, you can also find some various uh, test program in the Google maybe yeah, I also uh, find this program in the Google. So uh, you, if you uh, have uh, some trying to find this, like this program, at that time you can get the same or another program. Yeah. Now, uh, in this case, uh, our robot system is the server. So um, this test program set the client uh, and then uh, our robot system IP is like this, default to IP address, and port information is like this. So now I want to play the, this program. That time, uh, this line, uh, the block in this line because waiting for the com client to connect. So in this case, uh, connect. That time, we can see that this start yeah, command because we uh, make some uh, this string to the write some message to the client. Yeah. And then uh, our program 
is waiting some data. That time we can make some message like this and send. Yeah. yeah. We can see the some yeah alarm message because uh, in this example we uh, receive some data, read some data and uh, passing the that data for the make some uh, put x variable, yeah. But this put x variable and we our data is some uh, have a strange for the in we we use in this move web function. So we so we uh, see the right this uh, alarm message. But anyway, we can uh, receive some this data and yeah, make some passing the, the data like this like this method yeah and then uh, we also uh, see the client yeah, example like this yeah this GR is same but uh, client and server uh, is changed so I want to also using the data studio and yeah, set the client example. And in this time, uh, our robot system is the client. So uh, in this case, we have to start some server. Yeah, like this. Start listening. Oh, sorry. Uh, set the port like this and start listening and then uh, in our DRL we have to set the IP address for the for to connect the server uh, like this and pray uh, sorry in this case uh, our server program uh, running in my laptop, so my laptop IP address is one one one. Oh, sorry, stop. One one one. And then, yeah. And I want to create the some log log file log log string, and then play. Yeah, the time. We can see like this, start string, and uh, we want to receive some data. Like this, yeah, at that time, we also see the same yeah, alarm message like this. But uh, in this case, or we can see the like this. Yeah. Uh, we uh, correct receive some this three data and make some post x variable like this but move our function uh, in move our function the time we uh, cannot move the this post so ah uh, sorry yeah, can, yeah we do not input the some velocity parameter in this case so we cannot move we cannot use this uh, right this move away function yeah anyway uh, i want to uh, i i don't want to uh, introduce this move away function so yeah, skip this case yeah and uh, someone yeah have a uh, some question right in this ip address yeah information yeah in the server yeah uh, uh, we do not set uh, some IP address because server is the uh, main storage, main uh, information storage. So uh, some client to want to connect to the some server. That time, client have to know the server IP address. But server in in server case, uh, server do not. Uh, 
know about the, some IP address information. Yeah, so in this case, server case, we do not input yeah, IP address yeah, like this. Okay. Yeah. Next, I want to introduce the, our first communication, industrial communication, Modbus. Modbus, Modbus is a communication protocol that was created in 1978. It provides pre-license. And there is a serial-based Modbus RTU and Ethernet-based Modbus TCP. Modbus has a simple server and client structure. Master make a request to the slave and the slave responds. Yeah. Modbus has four types of data. There is a discrete input coil that handles one bit of data. There is an input register and holding register that handles two bytes of data. Also, discrete input and input register is only available for read only. Both coil and holding register are available for read and write. To access this data type, we use predefined function code. Busan robot automatically use this function code. But in order to support uh, function code 15 and 16, a data type called multiple coil and multiple holding type is provided. In this case, uh, uh, holding uh, multiple holding register. Yeah. Multiple holding register, when, when you use multiple holding register, that time you uh, need some start address information and count information like this. Mm -hmm. uh, and now I want to introduce parameter of Modbus yeah. slave ID. Uh, allocate ID for each device to crispy slave device. However, in TCP, it is crispied by IP address and the default value is 255. Address, uh, signal address. Yeah, Dusan Cobot Modbus recognized its type of address with zero based. Basically, everyone used zero based, but it may be different for each device. Yeah. And TCP port, the port is promised as 502, yeah. but can be changed by user. Now I want to uh, explain about the feature about Dusan Robotics Modbus. ITU and TCP master can be used as UI on TP and the slave function must use DRL. The signal name function is made for user convenience and is not provided in the Modbus standard. It does not provide near-time communication function and is implemented to scan recognized signal internally at the speed of up to 2 milliseconds. However, the scan cycle may vary depending on the system load. In the case of master function, up to 5 slave devices can be connected, and 100 signal can be registered for slave, and up to 100 signal registered in 5 slave are possible. So, if you register 100 register in such a device, in only such one device, that time you cannot connect to any other device. Yeah. Because uh, you already over the total number of register. Yeah. And then uh, this exception code is uh, is in the Modbus standard, uh, illegal function and illegal data address and illegal data value, slave device value, connect, connection timeout. Yeah. And then uh, this error code is defined by our Dusan Robotics. Yeah. So, uh, you can see the right this error message 
yeah. In this case, you can see the this uh, value. This value is the our Dusan robotics error code, and then you can see the some uh, multiple standard error uh, exception data in this parameter three. Yeah. So, uh, if you want to debug multiple communication, uh, that time you can see the this code and this data yeah and uh, now I want to introduce our modulus TCP master function and then I want to uh, show you some moxa extension IO for the example uh, for using the modulus TCP master that time you have to connect some RAN cable in our controller. Yeah, connect the robot to counter device with Ethernet cable through the RAN port of the robot controller. No use of one port. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, if you want to use the modulus TCP master, at yeah, that time. Uh, you cannot handle the, your uh, robot controller IP address, but in uh, but now we only have to know about the prepared device, shared device IP address. Yeah. Yeah. That time uh, you can see the in setting page and network and modulus page. You can write. You, you can see the right this page. And then add TCP slave button and yeah, select view. Yeah. That time you can add signal like this. Yeah. Like this and oh yeah. Uh, I also uh, explain about this uh, in the example. Yeah. And uh, in status page yeah, you can see the this modulus test tab. Yeah, in this modulus test tab, uh, modulus signal can be tested after selecting type and slave address as status. Yeah, like this. Yeah, so you can see the like this. Mm. And then in my example, I want to uh, using the this Moxa IO extension yeah device. Yeah, this device have uh, some default IP address like this, but uh, our robot IP address range is 137. So uh, I already changed the, this IP address. Yeah. And now you can see the uh, this yeah left side. You can see the this Moxa yeah, device, and now. I already connect some loopback cable, uh, three loopback cable. Yeah. So now I show you my dot platform. Yeah, like this. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. In setting page. Yeah. Yeah. I already add the TCP slave device like this. You can see the view. Yeah. And if you want to uh, additional signal at that time, you click the this uh, add signal button and select some type like this and write some signal address uh, in zero base and signal name. Yeah. And in this case we uh, use the modulus TCP at that time, we do not uh, handle some slave ID. But if we want to change this slave ID at that time, you can check the check this advanced option. At yeah. that time, you can change some other yeah other information. But now we do not handle this slave ID. Yeah, and then in this page. We already connect, we already set that this 
uh, six signal. So that time, uh, I want to set the first signal and output. Yeah. That time, I already explained about this yeah, circuit. Yeah, this circuit is loop pack circuit. So uh, uh, I output some first signal that time. Uh, we can see the first input like this and second signal output that time also second input right there yeah. third also this and then uh, we can see the in state page yeah, modus test tab yeah. select some tie and flip device like this select yeah you can also see the whole signal in this page and you can also test like the output so we up 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 and on yeah like this yeah this is done about the modus master modus tcp master yeah. next i want to introduce modus rq master with the robotic gripper Yeah, Modbus RQ master. Yeah, Modbus RQ, Modbus protocol to operate in serial communication environments such as RS232 or 422 and 485. Yeah, hardware connection. Yeah, you can use the two methods like this, D support or USB. Yeah, if you want to USB connector, that time you have to. Uh, uh, you have you can yeah you have a if you have a USB serial USB to serial converter that time you can use USB port yeah like this cable and then uh, add the RTU slave func uh, process is same yeah similar with add the TCP slave go to setting page and network and add RQ slave and view like this yeah I also explain about uh, in the our example yeah so following and you can also handle some yeah add signal or some serial configuration like this and this case uh, slave ID is uh, available yeah, like this and also you can check some modular test page yeah. and then uh, this uh, information is for the robotic gripper yeah. so this robotic gripper uh, use the slave id like this nine yeah, slave id and uh, and robotic gripper have uh, some two address range uh, like this 1000 and 2000 yeah. and robotic gripper handle some data like this so we can add like this and in this case uh, Modibus gripper have uh, some bit command like this yeah. so but our Dusan robot yeah, have uh, only uh, decimal 2 byte time data uh, only handle the two byte type right decimal yeah so you have to calculate yeah, bit operation some bit operation right there mm -hmm. yeah so uh, if you want to activation that time you you have to input the 256 like this and if you want to uh, move some gripper, some position, that time you have to input uh, this value. Yeah. And uh, next address is for the uh, target position, position request. Yeah. And next third register, third address uh, for the speed and force like this. 
and in this case uh, if you want to check some status about gripper that time you can handle uh, in this address and this data yeah I want to see the right disk this right size and then yeah uh, I want to add IP slave for the robotic gripper and view and select serial port yeah we already connect USB converter yeah, like this and yeah full weight parity data bit stop bit right and then this time we I want to handle some multiple holding register and signal name control start address 1000 count is 3 confirm and slave ID is 9 yeah. and also another signal status and 2000 and third confirm by this nine and set that time you can see the some value like this but uh, if you uh, understand this value that time you can see the you have to see the robotic manual in this page this table yeah. but now I already know about this value yeah, so uh, Nowadays, I want to activate the robotic gripper, so I input the 256 like this. Okay, ah, yeah, I already activation, activate some gripper, so anyway, yeah. This motion for the activation, and next, I want to close the Reaper. Yeah. Like this. And second yeah, signal is the target position. So I want to input the zero. That time uh, the gripper is full open. Like this. Yeah. Okay, that's all. And also you can see the in set page and write this yeah. that time you can also see the same signal data and now you can see the grip motion like this yeah this is whole about the modulus r2 master example Okay, next is the Modbus TCP slave. Modbus TCP slave run in the background when connecting from the Modbus TCP master device with the robot IP address and port 502. It can be used for robot information, monitoring, and GPR function. Uh, for more information, please refer to the IO table. Yeah, this IO table uh, you can find and download in our Robo Lab site. And uh, our Modbus slave uh, only provides some like this function code, this six function code. Mm -hmm. uh, most of it the monitoring information is updated at 100 milliseconds and some information is updated whenever an event occurred yeah. like this mm -hmm. and uh, in the example uh, I want to handle the GPR general purpose register yeah. so uh, general purpose register area is like this yeah, so if you want to handle some GPR that time you can use the, these two yeah, DRL function. Mm. So 
in this case, I want to use that studio like this, and uh, I also use some program for the uh, Modulus Master uh, simulator in this. Uh, this program name is Modbus 4. This is very famous yeah, Modbus simulator. So, but this is uh, uh, if you want to use this program, that time you have to pay for this program. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I want to run our program. Yeah. Uh, in this uh, program, yeah. First time check the range and set the uh, uh, that address value and check some data if uh, yeah like this and now pray that time you can see the like this yeah you can see this value this value we make we send and check some this our program robot program mm -hmm. yeah so you can use right this uh, our modulus tcp thread function okay yeah next chapter is the last chapter uh, for the industry even communication This is industrial network market share in 2021, yeah. according to HMS company. Yeah. Uh, industry Ethernet account for the 65% of the total, and Pilbus account for 28% uh, like this. And our industry Ethernet function run in the background. Yeah. Separate setting is unnecessary, but Ethernet IP provides two type. Since it is a function implement in software, it does not guarantee real time performance. Yeah. Uh, in the in this industry Ethernet Ethernet IP adapter and Fortinet IO device. Uh, you can also use the GPR and uh, monitoring the information of the robot, like some modular TCP thread function. Yeah. And you can change some uh, Ethernet IP feature uh, type like this in the setting page. Yeah. And uh, when you use the Ethernet IP, adapter or propinet IO device that time you have to prepare some EDS or GXDML file so you can download that file in our RoboNet site uh, resource and technical data yeah. and you also can find IO table document in that same page and uh, if you want to handle some general property register uh, that time you can use the this nine DRL function, yeah. And then uh, now I want to uh, show you some example about the Ethernet IP. Yeah. If you want to check some detail uh, example, that time uh, you can see the in the this URL, yeah, or. Uh, Logo in the robot lab, and uh, you can find some uh, training, online training course. Yeah, that time uh, in in that page, you can see the same yeah video, yeah. Ethernet IP and Propinet. Yeah, and now I want to show you some the Studio Five Thousand program. 
that program is for the Ethernet IP. Yeah, I uh, now I already connect the PLC with uh, uh, connect with our robot. And then you can see the right some data. Yeah, this is our robot version, and this is our robot position information, like this. And now I want to handle the robot. Yeah. That time you can see the changing data. Yeah, I change some configuration, and see this. Now you can uh, some data like this changing data. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is my last example. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any question about this train? Yeah. Mm. 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 Yes, in this lecture, we do not handle about the focus, uh, but uh, we uh, prepare some another yeah, lecture for focus and mode standing so you can see the, that information into the, that lecture yeah. so uh, wait about that lecture information yeah. maybe uh, anyway in this year we, yeah, we can see the, some example about the focus in the, our lecture Yeah, and uh, if you uh, want to see the some example about the podcast that time, you can see the in our global lab site. Yeah, our global lab site uh, in partner page. Yeah, you can see the some example about our podcast function. Yeah, if you don't find that information that time, yeah, send it to email about this yeah we can yeah send some information about focus yeah thank you mm -hmm. yeah any other question Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah. If you any other yeah, if you have uh, some question about the in industrial communication at that time, yeah, you can send to email, yeah, to our RoboLab yeah, email yeah, account. Yeah. Okay, thank you.